and if you not just fit this in here so you see that that's the uh the gallery that is quite small so i don't need to have uh, this part here hanging out too much so i could cut it up okay if you have a wider you can just always remove it easier but if you make it too small there then it's very hard to uh, correct it so make sure you have this part here a bit thicker So you can put this aside and see. Doesn't need to be a perfect fit because uh, if you want to fire separately, usually you want to fire separately because if if you don't have glaze here, it doesn't look nice. So fire separately. So you can make this part a little bit smaller, okay? And uh, you can glaze all over except for the the foot, and then a uh, little bit wider is okay. Yeah. And you see, when I'm trimming, I usually brace my arms together so that the, it's not too shaky. So I have a one, I have my finger inside to, uh, to feel the thickness of the wall when I'm trimming. I don't want to trim it too thin and I don't want to leave it too thick either. That's the uh, trimming of uh, this part here. Later on, I could use a sponge to uh, smooth it a little bit further. So, fit in right here on the picture, and it's a little bit wider. See that? Uh, a little bit room for the coffee part to uh, sit down easier. Because you are going to have a glaze here and a little bit glaze there, so a uh, little bit more room for it. And for the uh, inside, if you want to add the uh, ridges, okay, add the ridges. So this is the uh, extruder. Just find a uh, small uh, opening. This is a round shape. And uh, you could cut out the liner first. Use a, a scofilo tool, or maybe something that is a little bit uh, wider than a scofilo tool, and then cut out the lines, and then extrude. The small coil. You might want to use the uh, fresh clay because uh, the recycled clay is easy to break. Fresh clay is easier. Okay and you can get a better coil. Right, so this, you can make it straight. And uh, after you cover out that, put a little bit of water there in the grooves, and then you can add to it, that you attach to it. Maybe you'll find like six, uh, eight or twelve or maybe some way in between that is shorter okay. so this one this was alarm so I have a one shorter one and one longer one all the way from here to the hole almost to the hole and then the shorter one is somewhere in between okay. so you can add it on this is very tedious okay, very time consuming so <laughs> If you don't want to do that, just uh, get a tool and then cut out a little groove 
but this looks more professional. And the people told me that if you have this, it's easier to control when you pour over the, the coffee, for the coffee to drain, drain down is easier. So that's why I, I show you how to do that. But if you don't, just leave it alone. I, I don't drink. I don't drink the uh, four over coffee. But a lot of people are very picky. They 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 want them with something that is easier to control. Okay. So that's the uh, four over coffee dripper. And if you're not at a handle, okay, I pulled a handle earlier. You can add it on later. Okay, just like this one. Here, either here or you can add your handle on the top. It's up to you. The uh, location. So when you pick it up, you don't want to just hold it because this part's going to be hot. Of course you can hold it like that, but uh, with the handle it looks more uh, finished, more professional. Right, so that's how I do that. Just my demonstration for today. Right, before I attach the handle, I like to make the uh, ridges. Um, before I attach the ridges, I like to carve out a little bit groove so the uh, coil is easier to fit it in there. Bring, bring back my uh, my demonstration home and and finish it up. So first, I will cut a groove using my Scofilo tool. This is the larger one. Right, so I'm gonna brush a bit of water before I attach the uh, coil. Okay, so just show you uh, roughly after I attach all the coil inside. And then I'm I wanna refine it. So I'm gonna brush water over the uh, joint. And then I'm going to use the sponge to smooth the uh, joint further.
All right, so that's the uh, result after attach all the coil to make the bridges. Um, after you try further, I will smooth it out. There's a, still a little bit rough on the edge where I uh, use the um, plastic knife to uh, smooth it, the corner, the joint. So uh, after you try it, I will just rub my finger there to smooth it out further. So I prepared the handle earlier and uh, let it hang, let it hang like this, so that I could get to choose what portion of the two the handle I could use on this body part. The corner of uh, the joint is very weak, so I am rolling a small coil to reinforce it. So I wet it and then uh, gonna fill the gap with a small piece of a coil there. Right. Thanks for watching and see you next time.